So guys, I got some great news for the community. We have just landed an interview with Patrick Riley from Reaper Financial, one of the main corporations that filed a amicus brief in the Ripple versus SEC case. And this is Fred Raspoli worked on this amicus brief. We're releasing this interview on Wednesday at 7 p.m. It's something you're not going to want to miss, guys. I am just so excited. The information in there is going to be absolutely amazing. And he has dropped some big bombshells that you're going to want to hear. So Wednesday at 7, you're going to want to be there and you're going to want to see it. All right. Can't wait to release it to you. Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm. What an amazing morning it is. There's absolutely zero wind coming through here and it's quite nice out. Smells clean. It is just beautiful. And guys, didn't I tell you, look at all the leaves we've lost over here. Lots. And they have just fallen down so fast. But hey, it's still a beautiful scene. The only thing this morning is my neighbor over here is doing some more landscaping. So it could be a bit noisy, but hey, you know, I want him to get it all done so he gets to enjoy it and, you know, all of that. Because who knows, maybe someday I'll be out here landscaping and he's going to have to endure a little bit of the noise from me too. So whatever. Well, guys, I was reading a couple articles this morning. And the first one, you know, really tweaked my interest because the title was Taking Down crypto influencers might be really beneficial to the whole crypto market. And of course, I'm going to take a look at that one. Well, after reading the article, you know what? I agree 100% with what these folks are saying. What they're really talking about is a lot of these YouTubers that had got, come on there and were paid big bucks, by the way, to shill all kinds of projects and tokens as if they really believed in it and as if they did all kinds of work to know about it when they did absolutely nothing. And what was going on? And in fact, guys, let me tell you this. I have been literally pummeled with offers to shill all kinds of various tokens, NFTs, projects, you know, crypto games, you name it. And it's literally gotten as high as $1,600 per video that these folks are willing to pay me for maybe a 10 second spot for videos. And I, I literally told them flat out, I have no interest in doing it. And I'll tell you something, it is, I can understand why that would be tempting. But the moment that you take that bait, you have lost all credibility. Your integrity is, you, you've been, basically what you've said is I'm up for sale. And for me, when I talk about these tokens, when I talk about XRP, when I talk about XLM, Algorand, and all these ones like that, I have already been invested in these long before I ever started my YouTube channel. And I invested my own personal time, energy, and effort, and did my due diligence and research to really get to know about these projects and to believe in them. And so when I come on here and I share the things that I share, look, folks have even accused me. <laughs> they say, you're too positive about it. You've got to be an employee for XRP and Ripple and on and on. And that, can, that is just absolute hogwash. The reason I believe it is because I've literally done my research. I've literally gone out there and spent hours and hours, probably hundreds and hundreds of hours, getting to know this space and watching every move it makes with respect to these ecosystems. And so when I get on and I do my videos, I can tell you something, they are biased. They're based on my opinion of what I've discovered and what I've learned and what I believe and also what I experienced because I experienced some amazing transformation in a big way financially over the last bull run. And boy, am I expecting that I'm probably going to see something similar, the same in the next one that's coming out. Remember guys, for every bull market, there's a rare market. For every bear market, there's a bull market. The only thing is, we don't know when the bull market's actually gonna start. We have our guesses and we just don't know how, how, how high it's going to go. But of course, you know, we have our speculation and that's what this space is all about. And that's what risk is all about. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of these influencers, by the way, and some that I literally paid, I paid some of these influencers thousands of dollars to follow their signals when in fact they they come out later on and say, oh yeah, I sold over here. And I thought, well, didn't I pay you to tell me that you were buying or selling? And you didn't, right? And, you know, and I've seen big time guys get on there and apologize for actually getting paid to do all this shilling. 
you know, Ben Ben Armstrong is one. And, you know, BitBoy came on there and he literally apologized. And you can find the video on his on his site apologizing for that. Then I saw another one, DIY Investing. That guy came out and was apologizing for, you know, uh, things that he did and all this and that. Well, that's kind of a little too late. They lost my respect in their credibility after they came out and did that because the truth is I was following those guys. I was listening to, you know, those narratives back then when I was involved. And of course you do that a little bit. Now, this is what I recommend. You don't follow any YouTuber, including myself, to get your conviction on these assets. What you do is you go out and do what I did. You do your own research. Now, you can follow certain people that can kind of back up what you've already discovered for yourself. But don't do it to get your research done. Absolutely no way. Look, YouTube is great for confirmation, but it but in terms of, you know, discovery, the answers that you are going to believe the best are the ones you find for yourself. I'll tell you that right now. Nobody can convince you more than you can convince yourself. And if I could come on here or another YouTuber could come on here and talk you into it, then hey, there's someone over here that's going to be able to talk you out of it. And if you're only convinced because of what somebody else says, when a big FTX deal comes down, you're gonna be absolutely terrified and you could get totally shaken out. Remember guys, they measure this marketplace by fear and greed, the fear and greed index. Neither one of those emotions is a good emotion to have. Look, there are, in my estimation, there are far more better motivators for accumulating wealth than greed, far, far more. And there is a lot, a lot more to be said you want to take the fear out of this, out of the equation when it comes to this, the fear of losing out or the fear of missing out, that kind of stuff? Do your research. Go out there and understand what this new digital economy is going to look like. Who are the major players and why? And I put in that, look, I got rug pulled myself, by the way. Thousands upon thousands of dollars, I lost it. Absolutely. Because I didn't have a formula in place that was going to help me to make decisions in this space. I was just following what other people did. And I found out that, hey, look, I can't do that. And so after losing thousands of dollars, I came to a, a realization that I had to have something. It had to have a real world utility, right? Had to have a solid management team, real people, not all these Satoshi Nakamoto wannabes that are absolutely anonymous in their projects and all this kind of stuff. It had to have strategic partnerships. And then of course, I looked at the historic price action. That's the technical analysis side. You need to have something in place like that. And it helps you to get filter through things. And, and look, if it doesn't have those, I didn't get involved in it. And so I missed out on some opportunities to be sure because it, I wasn't going to, you know, go without going through this disciplinary process. And one of the ones was Shiba Inu. Well, Shiba Inu didn't meet any of those things for me, and so I didn't get in. Now, I know folks that got in, put in a few hundred bucks, and got tens of thousands out. But I'm okay with that. And the reason I'm okay with that is because, for me, it didn't hit my, you know, my filters here. And, and this is my shield. This is my protective shield when I look at that. And even there, let's remember, there's still risk. There's still risk but at least it's a calculated risk for me anyway, for me. So having said that, I really wanna encourage people, look, we do need regulation in this space in a big, big way. And I think there, it's fair that, you know, we kind of get the snake oil salesman out of this industry altogether because it, it, it is hurting people. People are following these guys and they end up, you know, getting out there and doing something like that and they get really, really hurt. No, I, on my videos, I tell them flat out, hey, look, number one, it's not financial advice. Number two, it is my opinion, right? This is what I believe. You're hearing what I believe. And I'll tell you something. I have already put it out there flat out. I don't know how many rejections I've had to send back to these people that are trying to shill me to, or get me, sorry, to shill you guys with all of these projects. And I won't do it 
Now, having said that, there are some sponsors that I would support. And obviously, you know, having a sponsor that is going to, you know, kind of like uh, just provide a service or something like that. But I am not going to shill any tokens or anything like that. But if, if, hey, if Ledger wanted to come on here and say, hey, would you, uh, you know, advertise our hardware wallet? I'd probably say, sure, I'd advertise a hardware wallet, you know. And it wouldn't only be Ledger, maybe Trezor, maybe Decent, maybe, you know, what, Ep Ep EpiPal Titan or something like that. Yeah, I think that's perfectly okay. I think it's okay to provide services to, you know, your, your, your people like I you know like I'm doing with the coaching and stuff like that so that's a genuine service they're paying for your time they're paying for you know the research that you've already done you can kind of give them some tools that they can use and this like that and by the way it's not financial advice I don't supply financial advice I don't tell people hey get in here and get out here and all that kind of stuff no what I try to do is tie people's goals to what they're hoping to achieve and that kind of stuff and show them how they could go about doing that and be razor sharp in the process and so that's that that is how I feel about that and I thought it was a great article after I read it and the title really did intrigue me now something else I read this morning had to do with Goldman Sachs and get this guys <laughs> here you have Goldman Sachs these guys that came out not too long ago literally coming hardcore down on the whole digital asset space and saying how horrible it is and never get involved and da 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 and here they are, news article out there, that they're out there trying to buy up some crypto exchanges and all these crypto assets and things like that because they want to move out big time into this digital asset space. Why, guys? Look, we can see. We know it's the future. I mean, Larry Fink yesterday coming out and telling us, hey, the next evolution for the markets is going to be the tokenization of securities. Depository Trust and Clearing Corp, tokenization of securities. We're watching commodities get tokenized. I mean, you can see the handwriting on the wall, and they've known about it for a very, very long time. It's just now they're making it all public. Oh, and one other thing. I read a little small clip today. Jim Cramer out there saying, oh, everybody's got to sell their crypto and blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking in my mind, boy, does this match the psychology of a market cycle? Because when it was on top, who did we see out there telling us, oh, I think it's irresponsible to not have Bitcoin in your portfolio. You know, this guy, I'm telling you, he's the best reverse barometer that there possibly is. Because when it's way up here and on the top and everybody's getting in, boy, he's like, hey, man, this is sliced bread with honey and butter. Get in and get in quick. And now that we're down here in what they would classify our bear market or whatever, oh, my goodness, you don't ever want to touch it. It is the most dangerous thing. You know, it's it, and all this. This is rat poison squared, blah, blah, blah. I mean, come on, <laughs> that guy is really, he makes me actually laugh. Good for a laugh anyway. Well, guys, I have a great video for you coming out later on this afternoon. And I, hey, by the way, I just want to say this. I really think it's fantastic. I see so many great comments out there. Reach out and help one another. You know, you get these questions and, I, and it's very difficult, by the way, for me with the timing and everything to get in there and answer all the questions, but I do read every comment. And um, when you see a thumbs up and a heart, that is me telling you, look, I've read it. And even ones that I wouldn't agree with necessarily and stuff like that, I still put a thumbs up and a heart because, hey, look, you took the time to sit down and write out a comment. And even if it's opposite to my opinion, that's OK. I'm going to acknowledge that you did it and you'll get a thumb and a heart saying that, hey, I saw that. The ones that don't get through are the ones that are are really being vulgar and, you know, are totally disingenuous and, and vicious. You know, I'm not gonna put that stuff out there, but we don't get too many of those, by the way. Get a few. And of course, we get all rid of all those WhatsApps and all that other scammy AMC, Amazon stuff and all that crap. We don't have any of that on there. So anyhow, guys, I really wanna say I appreciate how, as a community, you're reaching out and helping one another. So having said that, later on today, we have a fantastic video coming out and I hope you have a great day. And until then, guys, take care.